so we'll uh, discuss one more question from the last csr net physics physics question so the question is uh, it was given that uh, the hamiltonian of a 2 uh, of a 2 degrees of freedom is given by h is equal to uh, q1 p1 minus q2 p2 plus a q1 square this is the hamiltonian and uh, where a is a constant and uh, uh, and there is a function f is equal to uh, q1 q2 plus lambda p1 p2 so the question is uh, this function is constant of motion if the value of lambda is okay so uh, it was asking that the value uh, what is the value of lambda if the function is a this f is a constant of motion okay so for what value of lambda this function is a constant of motion okay so for this uh, for a uh, for a constant of motion the function f and the portion uh, the portion bracket of this function f with the hamiltonian is equal to 0 remember okay for constant of motion for constant of motion the portion bracket of that particular function that particular f or see whatever may be the function the position bracket of that function with the given hamiltonian is equal to 0 ok so you have to just find out the position bracket so easy ok so for position bracket we know that uh, if there is two function f and g position bracket is given by for i is equal to 1 to n uh, do f by do q1 do g by do p1 minus do f by just the opposite p here now p1 and here it becomes q1 these are qi's uh, pi qi's because we are taking the summation over i okay this is qi pi and pi qi where we know that this qi's are nothing but our generalized coordinates and uh, this p i is are nothing but my generalized momentum ok so uh, this is my Hamiltonian this is the function so just we have I have to find out the position bracket of this uh, function with the Hamiltonian and equate it to 0 after that I can find out the value of lambda ok so uh, this can be like uh, do there are two uh, q i's and uh, q1 uh, there are two generalized coordinates and general uh, two generalized momenta so i have to take the summation over two values one and two so do uh, f by do q1 do uh, h by do p1 minus do f by do uh, p1 do h by do q1 and plus do f by do q2 do h by do p2 minus do f by do p2 do h by do q2 sorry ok just I have to find out this ok so uh, here I can find out do f c do f by do q1 here do f by do q1 will be equal to q, q2 ok so just find out here the individual values so do f by do q1 is equal to uh, q2 do f by do q2 uh, is equal to uh, q1 and do uh, f by do p1 will be equal to lambda p2 similarly do f by do p2 will be equal to lambda p1 and i can just 
uh, substitute directly here i can also substitute directly here. that will be a bit, uh, a bit easy okay for this question okay so do f by do q1 uh, here see here is my f so do f by do q1 is equal to q2 and do h by do p1 is equal to uh, do f uh, by uh, do q1 is uh, q2 and do h by do p1 see here p uh, only there is one term consisting of p1 so i i i, I will get do h by do p1 is equal to q1 minus do f by uh, do p1 do f by uh, do p1 will be equal to lambda p2 and do h by do q1 uh, is equal to do h by do q1 here is it uh, there here this is a uh, term consistent of q1 and this is also having q1 so i will get p1 plus 2a q1 okay and plus here do f by do q2 uh, do f by see here do f by do q2 uh, is equal to q1 and do h by do p2 is equal to minus q2 and do f by do p2 is equal to lambda p1 and do h by do q2 is equal to minus p2 just i will just substitute this uh, terms here okay do f by do q2 is equal to q1 do h by do p2 is minus q2 minus do f by do p2 will be lambda p1 and do h by do q2 is equal to minus p2 so see and that is equal to 0 this is also equal to 0 so here q1 q2 minus lambda p1 p2 minus 2a q1 p2 lambda minus q1 q2 and here minus minus or plus lambda p1 p2 equal to 0 so this two terms will get cancelled and we remain with t 2a q1 p2 lambda equal to 0 so from here i can see that the value of lambda equal to 0 so this function will be a constant of motion if the value of lambda equal to 0 okay so i hope you guys understood you know you, you can attend uh, such questions in the coming csr net so just you have to see the question what it is asking if it is asking the uh, constant of to find out the value of lambda is to this is uh, just we have to find out the poisson bracket of the given function with the hamiltonian okay so and we will discuss one more question uh, one more question in the next video and i hope you guys under understood this okay